Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel, back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be heading down to SSR Performance. We're driving the M3 for the first time um, for over six hours, a road trip, and this is kind of risky business, because if anything happens, uh, there's no going back from here. <laughs> but I mean, I have been driving the past couple of days, it's been very, very, very reliable. Have had no issues with this car whatsoever. It's been driving perfectly straight. Shout out to Naz for their beautiful alignment. See, I'm pretty confident this car's gonna take us there, no problem, um, but at the same time, you never know. This car, as you guys know, we're still trying to get that frame fixed but in the meantime it should be perfectly good to ride down to LA get those SSR crank hubs uh, SSR raw bearings done and then obviously get that beautiful paint job I can't wait to come back with a beautiful beautiful color match vehicle it's gonna be so 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 nice but anyways we got muffin loaded up we got all of our gear loaded up I got the wifey right next to me and we are ready to go guys we got about six hours to go look at the miles we're at 40,471 I have a feeling we're gonna hit 42,000 on this trip alone but definitely gonna be well worth it I'm gonna enjoy this every mile at a time. Guys, we have already one problem. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but we are scraping. Again, one of my fears, it looks like it came up, so we're gonna have to take care of this right now on the side of the road. It's gonna kinda suck, but it is what it is. Oh, guys, this is sketch. Oh, okay, it's a belly pan, and uh, yeah, it looks like a bolt came loose, and I don't have that bolt, unfortunately. So, uh, that's gonna suck. Okay, I might be able to actually just tuck it back in and drive, and we might get lucky. So, uh, I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Just because if I could tuck this underneath the front belly pans, we should be good, at least for a little bit. Do you have something to Guys. say about your hoopties? <laughs> it pays off to bring some zip ties, got my razor blade, got all my tools. I knew it was probably gonna be a good idea. Um, that belly pan, I did not think that one's actually gonna fly out, but uh, things can happen, especially when it gets super windy. So, God bless me at it. All right guys, so that wasn't planned, but thankfully uh, it wasn't too bad either. Could have been a lot worse as our first issue, and hopefully there's gonna be no other issues, but that was a simple fix. Thankfully we bought zip ties, I bought a razor blade, we got everything sorted, and uh, should be hopefully, fingers crossed, a safe ride from here on out. And now that everything is gravy in the Navy, let's go ahead and take one minute and talk about today's sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by Simply Carbon Fiber. You guys know how much I love their wallets, and yet again, we are on another trip, and this is my first choice of a wallet. It's small, compact, and super cool. This is a business-oriented trip, and we are meeting lots of car people, and what better way than to pay out of our carbon fiber wallet for the new goodies. If you guys use my code, you guys will get a discount on not only this wallet, but also everything else on their site. They offer carbon glasses, carbon jewelry, carbon wallets, carbon watches, carbon foam mounts, literally everything carbon fiber. Make sure to check out that first link down below. Guys, need a little bathroom break, but at the same time, we need to get some breakfast. We haven't even eaten yet. Guys, honestly, I love this wallet. You guys can see, I literally take it everywhere with me. It's just so easy to take with you.
code that came up had to do with the bank one uh, like intake sensor or something like that. The previous owner did tell me to replace the intake sensor and that code that just keeps on coming on. It's not because of the sensor. So I have a feeling that's to do something to do with wiring. I guess we'll figure that out when we get back, but that's honestly not a big deal. So thankfully, um, yeah, it's a service engine light. Yeah, it was a full check engine, but nothing that's honestly too worrisome because it's probably gonna be a wiring issue. We are about one hour away from the hotel. Cannot wait to get there. We need to just relax, kick back. I always like coming one day early. It was a little Ferrari over there. A little, I think a little, a beautiful Ferrari. <laughs> but yeah, guys, it's definitely better to come one day early, especially when you're doing like a six to seven hour drive because honestly, I'm not trying to show up and get try to get things done at the same time. I want to go there, relax, take a shower, and then sleep on it, and then wake up ready to rock and roll. So anyway, I'll catch you guys when we actually get to the hotel. Guys, we finally made it. The M3 did pretty good. Other than the check engine light and uh, that belly pan flying off, I mean, we were doing pretty good. We got to zip tie the belly pan right up so there's no damage to that whatsoever. And then as far as the whole check engine light thing, I think it's a wiring issue. So we'll get that sorted, it's not a big deal. But finally here, um, let's go ahead, uh, unpack and just get inside the hotel room because I'm starving, we need to get something else. We had Taco Bell, but it was like a little taco. It wasn't like, it wasn't, I need a full blown meal if y'all know what I mean. Guys, we just made it to the room. Thankfully, everything's in gravy in the Navy with the car. I cannot wait to take this thing to SSR Performance to get the raw bangs worked on. And for those of you guys who also know, also getting the whole front end painted on that car. When I say whole front end, I mean, pretty much just mean like bumper and fender. But uh, super stoked for that stuff. While we're out here, we're gonna have a good time because every time I come down here to SoCal, I love the food here, I love the people here, I like to experience new things. So uh, for those of you guys who wanna see what I'm gonna be doing here, make sure to smash the like button. I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of things, obviously at SSR, auto body, and SSR Performance, but we're also gonna be trying some new foods and stuff like that. If I should do vlog style, let me know down below, guys. Before I actually conclude this video, let me show you guys what we're about to eat right now, which is some good Mediterranean food, some good Middle Eastern food. I'll show you guys um, in, in, for me in about one hour, one hour and a half to get all that stuff. But for you guys, eh, what do you think, babe? Like, like five minutes, 10 minutes, one second? One second. One second. And guys, one second later, we got the good stuff. <laughs> Me and my wife actually went all out because we're actually starving right now. We are going to feast and then hopefully get a good night's rest. Probably honestly do a little bit of walking as well. Honestly, we're honestly both exhausted. It was a long drive and that's the reason we came one day early. So we're gonna go ahead and sleep on it. Tomorrow, hopefully gonna be doing some big things to the E92 M3. If you guys are excited again, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.